Welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss that how we can extract the hour from a date and time value. So in Excel we have an hour function that returns the hour component of a time as a number which is between 0 to 23. So for example with a time of 9.30 am or 9.30 pm the hour will be 9. If it's 9.30 am and if the time is 9.30 pm then it will give us 21. You can use this hour function to extract the hour in a particular cell or feed as the result into another formula like the time function. So the purpose of this hour function is to get the hour as a number which is between 0 to 23 from a particular time and to return a value of an hour as a serial number. So this function takes only one argument which is the serial number which will be your date and time which should be the valid Excel date and time, then it will give you the hour of that particular time. So let's go and see our example here. So we have employee name, the date login and date log of time and their actual log of time. And we have to calculate the overtime of each and every employee. So this means that this employee logged on at 9.17 am on 19th June 2021 and the log of time was 7.20 p.m. of 19th June but he actually logged off at 10.20 p.m. on 19th June so he is supposed to get some OT hour as a compensation so how can you calculate the OT hours or in most simplified terms how can you get the hours that he has worked on the extra hours that he had worked on so first of all you need to understand how you can get the hours from the time. So what we can do is that we can take the hour function in Excel which gives us the hour in a serial number. So we will put equal to hour and then we will give our first argument or the single argument which is the serial number. So let's put it the login time. Now if I press enter you will see that I am getting 9. This means that the login time is 9. Okay. okay let me shift this 9 here. Now let's take the log of time on which time he was supposed to log off. So we'll put equal to hour and then we'll take the log of time. So he is supposed to log in at 9 am which he did and he was supposed to log off at 19 which is 7 pm which he didn't. The actual log of time is this cell which is D6. So he actually logged off at 10 pm. Now if I have to calculate the OT hour, I can simply put equal to this 22 minus this 19. So the total OT hour is 3. This means that this employee has worked additional 3 hours. Now in order to calculate this entire thing which I had done here in a single formula, what we can do is that we can put equal to hour. We'll take this log of time the actual log of time minus hour of this supposed to be log of time so again we are getting 3 now if i drag this entire formula you can see this person employee 6 has logged off earlier he was supposed to log off at 7:20 pm but he logged off at 6:20 pm so this is how you can use the hour function to get the hour portion of a time as a number between 0 to 23.